Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the freshwater angelfish. The freshwater angelfish is perhaps the most regal fish, and in terms of sheer elegance and presence in an aquarium, it can even challenge most saltwater fishes. It is just the icing on the cake that these fish are pretty readily available, and even the really fancy varieties are reasonably priced. They do require a bit more care than other fish, and here is a look at all the care requirements for the freshwater angelfish. Natural Habitat The freshwater angelfish is a member of the South American cichlid family. It is found primarily in the slow-moving parts of the Amazon River Basin. It can be found in countries like French Guiana, Brazil, Guyana, Colombia, and Peru. Their natural habitat usually consists of swampy areas with sandy substrates and plenty of plants. The water is generally clean and these fish get plenty of sunlight. As such, they do just fine in well-lit aquariums. The water is acidic and on the warmer side. Most of the fish in the hobby, especially ones with fancy coloration and angel-like wings, are captive bred. However, there does exist a small market for wild-caught specimens. Keep in mind that these wild-caught specimens will be more expensive and more difficult to take care of. Physical Description these fish have a very remarkable look that is difficult to miss. They truly do justice to their name. They have an arrowhead-shaped body. This is very unique among freshwater fish and makes them truly stand out. It is only perhaps the discus that can rival the angelfish in terms of look and flair. Their triangular face and long flowing fins perfectly complement their overall body shape. Silver with black vertical stripes is the most common coloration. However, other colors and patterns are available, thanks to selective breeding. Platinum white coloration and koi-like coloration have become very popular in recent times. They can grow to a maximum size of 4 inches, although some varieties can grow a little larger. These are one of the longest living freshwater fishes that can live for more than a decade with proper care. Ideal Tank Setup Setting the tank up properly is crucial to ensuring that your angelfish can have a happy and healthy life. A single angelfish will need a 20-gallon tank. Each additional fish will need an extra 10 gallons. They also need taller tanks because of their body shapes. Choosing the right substrate is important. Choosing something that is soft and sandy is ideal, as these fish will occasionally dig through the substrate. The water flow should also be slow, but the filter should be able to properly churn the water to ensure that it is properly aerated. Add plenty of live plants originally found in the Amazon to make them feel more at home. Make sure that there are plenty of hiding spots as these fish can be territorial. Artificial caves can be used for this as can rocks and pebbles arranged in such a way that hiding spots are created. Water Parameters These fish can be a bit demanding. While they can tolerate a reasonable range of water parameters, they do need stability. Make sure that the water parameters do not fluctuate. The ideal temperature range is between 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, or 24 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius. pH is especially important, and the range is rather narrow between 6.8 and 7.0. Hardness should be between 4 and 12. The filtration system should be of good quality that not only provides adequate filtration, but also keeps the water aerated without needing a bubbler. Diet Angelfish subsist primarily on a carnivorous diet, and you need to replicate that in the home aquarium. A good pellet that is high in protein and high in fiber is the ideal base. At least once a week, feed them live or frozen food. This will help bring out their coloration as well. They should be fed twice a day with just enough food that they can finish off in a couple of minutes. Any uneaten food that remains after two minutes should be removed. Behavior and Tank Mates The freshwater angelfish has a few unique characteristics and behavioral traits. While these fish live alongside a large number of other fish in their natural habitat, it does not make them a great community fish within the confines of an aquarium. They can be kept with other fish provided there is adequate space. They will mark their territory and guard it rather forcefully. As such, tank mates should be chosen accordingly. Fish that can stand their own ground without being too aggressive themselves are great options. Ideal tank mates for the freshwater angelfish include discus, dwarf cichlids, plecos, pictus, mollies, and garamas. Avoid invertebrates as they will be attacked. Breeding Another reason why these fish are so cool is the relative ease with which they can be bred in captivity. The best approach is to start out with 6 to 8 juveniles. As they grow up, they will form pairs. Choose the most suitable pair and move them to a breeding tank. The tank doesn't need to be anything fancy. A 20-gallon tank with warm water at 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 28 degrees Celsius and a low current is a great starting point. Spawning surfaces should be provided. 
Condition the pair by feeding them a high-protein food four times a day. The pair should breed and the female will lay around 400 eggs that the male will fertilize externally. The eggs will hatch in a couple of days, after which the adults will take care of them. After a month, the adults should be removed and you can feed the fry commercially available fry food. Diseases The freshwater angelfish is a fairly hardy fish and will stay healthy as long as the tank is maintained properly. If they are stressed or if the water parameters fluctuate drastically, these fish can end up meeting an early end. Common diseases include itch, fin rot, dropsy, and other infections. Quarantine any fish that starts exhibiting symptoms and maintain the tank fastidiously to avoid these diseases in the first place. To sum it up, if you do not have a huge budget but still want to set up an aquarium that looks like a million dollars, then the angelfish is the perfect option. They aren't too difficult to care for and their alluring looks and long lifespan make them the perfect choice for such a tank. I hope you enjoyed this video, be sure to tap that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will see you in the next video.